scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. I want to talk to you about some defensive strategy here for a moment, Teddy, and Tommy Hearns. And uh, we know that Hearns has been tagged before. He's got himself in trouble before, down and out. Uh, tonight, going up against a guy that wants to do just that, but in a unique way with that unorthodox style. Yeah, the guy wants to come at you when you don't think he's coming. The guy wants to go away when you don't know he's going away. You know, he wants to keep you one step behind him. You know, he wants to keep you off balance. He, might, he wants to make you feel like uh, you, you came in from a late night out. <laughs> And, and uh, the room's spinning a little bit. And Tommy has to make sure that all the furniture stays where it's supposed to stay. And that furniture, well, I think it starts, obviously, with his feet. He has to make sure that they're planted, you know, and he's in the right position, and he's throwing the punches. He's not chasing this guy. You know, he's stable, he's set, and he's throwing the punches, keeping the guy at the end of his punches, stabilizing the guy a little bit. And then the guy wants to be off with fine, but don't help him. Don't go falling into it, you know? Don't trip all over the place like I was talking about before. Let him come to you, and when he comes to you, you're going to find him. You're going to hit him. on his feet. Let's see what he has now. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Tommy Hearn. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Tommy Hearns' defense is paying off now. Calm down, man. Calm down. Just breathe. Just breathe. I need another round from you. I need you to be busy this round, all right? He caught you with your hands down. Let's box smart and not get caught. Box smart. Keep this fight in the center of the ring, okay? Carry it away and you'll catch him. You got that? It's gonna happen. You're gonna catch him. You're gonna catch him. like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Out of board. Well played, straight right hand. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Leonard showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. That was not well targeted by Sugar Ray Leonard. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Targeting that one-two. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him.
Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Three minutes gone by in this round. As soon as you feel the ropes, move out. And round number three is underway. Move! Burns is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep doing he missed with doing. that headshot. Oh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. Nice defense. Good block by Tommy Hearns. Tommy Hearns is trying to survive this. He said he was... And bang, and away he goes. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. Goes up top with a right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Good job, it was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Tommy Hearn. Hearns' work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Hearns is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. A well-placed overhand right. Both guys have a lot to be proud of with their performances in this round so far, and they still want to give more. What an encore in this final minute. If you were a kid, you would feel that you're on one of those rides at Space Mountain. I mean, it's just extraordinary. By sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Tommy Hurts is in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. You won that round, all right? You won that. You're fighting this fight. You're fighting on the inside with this guy. I want you to use the ring and keep your distance. Our first chance to take a look at Teddy's scorecard here is round number four is underway. Sugar Ray Leonard's in control so far, two rounds to one. Still anybody's fight. I think he's been the busier guy, though. Yeah, he has been the busier guy. And also, he's been the better real estate agent. You know, location, location, location. He's been in the right position for his style. He's been in tight. He just missed that shot up top. Hearns is out to show everybody One, that he's fine. One, but two. we saw what happened in the last round. He was knocked down in that last round. Does he have to prove something to himself as well as proving something to everybody in this arena? Well, that's the right question, Joe. He's got to revisit his memory banks a little bit and know that he's already proven it to himself. He's been in this position before, so he has to regain that confidence and understand that he can deal with this. He's done it before. Nowhere close that punch by Tommy Hearns. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Hearns is showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good. There it is! And he goes down again. Will he get up from this?
So Tommy Hearns beats the count back up to his feet. Now what do you expect out of him? Well, we're going to find out. The most important thing is what does he expect out of himself? Not what we expect out of him. Is he prepared? Has he been prepared to behave the right way when this moment came? That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Tommy Hearns. Keep your head moving. And that's the end of round four. Good Leonard's job. defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Burns is basically doing exactly what we've always seen out of him, and that's after he's been knocked down and affected in this fight. Yeah, you know... There comes a time you have to make adjustments. That time has come for him. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy will throw hard back at him. Sugar Ray Leonard's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Solid. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three, four. Leonard showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. He got hit, but he sends it right back. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counterpunching. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Sugar Ray Leonard's been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive, like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. Keep your hands up. Keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Have to keep your distance. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jab. You need to capitalize on his mistakes. I want to see that counter hook. Make him pay for his. Start of this round, start to the second half of this fight. First half of this fight, he completely dominated the action, Teddy. Yeah, but you know what? It's kind of like they said in that movie, The Gambler. You know, they don't pay off at halftime. <laughs> remember, remember the guy who wanted to collect Absolutely. his bets? Well, same thing. He's got another half of the fight. Can he be consistent? Can he keep his concentration? Can he keep doing what he's been doing? Good job on the two-punch combo by Tommy Hearns. Able to block and counter back. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He's not able to land the headshot. Tommy Hearns' work rate is impressive, Teddy, but his connect percentage is not. No, there's two reasons for it, Joe. One is his opponent. His opponent is pretty smart, man. You know, he's not just standing there saying, hey, hit me. He's moving. He's being smart defensively. The other thing is the punch is a little too wide. He needs to shorten them up a little. And he returns on that exchange. That's it. 
Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Well placed right hands from both men. Good combination to the head. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Burns has got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch scored. Very well done by both men to fire off those right hands. And that's the end of round six. We hear about guys being calm and cool when the pressure's on. With that eye completely shut, the pressure is on. Yeah, this is where you're really ultimately being tested as a fighter, as a human being, as a man. All right, come on, let's finish this. Keep going, just keep going. You're doing great, but let's keep working. underway here to live fight action tough fight to score very very even closely contested bout throughout Burns is whiffing there a big wide sweeping shot I and mean, a perfect to counter against yes it is and you know it's only a matter of time you know that goes into the old computer the old brain where the guy remembers that and the next time he's going to capitalize on it a stabbing right hand by Tommy Hearns Committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. He's Unable to score with the hook. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Big, big shot he just scored with. Leonard's down and he may be out. stopping this fight. Tommy Hearns' his corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. <laughs>